Would anybody throw a paddy if I went and had a look? I'm not sure, it depends what moat gaffer's in. Alright. Hi everybody, PJ here. And I'm outside a company called Filter Mech. Um, now it looks like they do, uh, it's a bit windy isn't it, looks like they do uh, vehicle repairs on plant and things like that and sales and hire as well by the look of it. So let's have a look see what we can see shall we. So as you can see we've got a, a big 360, I don't know what that is the other side, I don't know if it's a loading bucket or not. Some kind of, it's difficult to see, is it a fork truck or a, it's possibly a fork truck some kind of tractor or something like that so yeah but here we are filter make like it says uh, sales park deliveries and visitor parking all right let's have a look see if we can see what these are here so a good size uh, Good size 360. I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of fork truck. Looks brand new. No, it's not a fork truck. It's a loading bucket. Yeah, look. Because if you look at the front design with the, the piston ram along the top and the swivel points at the bottom, and that makes it the same as this one here, look. So that makes it a loading bucket like this one. Only uh, obviously that one's uh, done a few miles. And uh, this one's brand new. Let's go have a look at the 360. Looks like they're all Doosan. Nice big tracks on it, stop it sinking in the mud. And there you go. Don't have any tools on the front end at the minute, but these things will take a wide variety of tools, and that looks absolutely brand new. So, uh, somebody would be either buying it or have bought it. Nice bit of kit, and we've got the old usual fork trucks there. Now, then, it looks like they've got a, a service vehicle here that's out and does the maintenance and servicing and things. Construction, recycling and earth moving equipment. See so if we can get to find out a little bit more about the place, shall we? Now then, how are you doing? Hi. What do you do here? Oh, I can see you servicing that, are you? That 360. This what, sorry? He's doing injectors on it. He's doing injectors. Alright, okay. I see you've got a couple of brand new ones there, yeah? Yeah. How much are they worth? Or is that beyond your remit? Hundred and fifty grand. Yeah. Oh, I looked at the one on the other side and I thought, what on earth is this as I'm walking up towards it? Because there's no loading bucket on it, is there? No. And then when I saw that one there, you know, you compare them side by side and you can see it's a loading bucket. Is that the loading bucket for the new one out there? No, that's for another machine, that's for another job, that one. All right. So you do you do on-site maintenance as well, then? Yeah. Do you go all over? These boys do. I, I'm in I'm yard based. Oh, you're yard based, but these go all over, do they? Yeah. How far do they go? London. Oh, oh, nationwide more or less oh, then. Yeah. Up to Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. All over, yeah. All right. Do you like being a fitter? You enjoy it. It's all I've ever done. It's all you've ever done. It's all I've ever known. Yeah. I've only worked. I've only ever worked here. Twenty years. Yeah. I'll tell you something now, I hate spanners. Yeah. The only thing I want to do with a spanner is chuck it at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
there. It gets some days it gets like that, but yeah, yeah. Well, I used to teach people to drive all this stuff. You see? Did you? Yeah, long time ago. And fork trucks. I see you've got some more over there. Yeah, that that's a compound. That. All right. Would anybody throw a paddy if I went and had a look? I'm not sure. It depends what moat gaffer's in. All right. But there's a nice kid that works in there. If you go and have a sweet talk to him, you might. What's his name? Pete. Pete. Oh, well that's good because my name's Pete and all. Yeah. There'll be washing machines off or something like that. If you just go to the gate and give him a shout. Yeah. It might be nice to you. Yeah. He's a nice kid. Is yeah. he? Yeah, all right. What's, what's your first name? Stuart. All right, Stuart. Stuart. And Pete, anyway. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 Interesting place, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I, I'll be honest. It's something different all the time, you know. Yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be honest. Although you know, I hate spanners and things. I love driving all this stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The lovely to drive. You know, new ones. Oh, I bet they are. The Re really smooth. Yeah. 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 I bet. So have you got a ticket for all machines then? Yeah, we have to do a, as a guy comes in. Yeah, I just wondered were you just being a fitter rather than an no, operator? No, they, they, do, they do give us a, a lad comes in, it's that m pause now. Uh, right. Well, it's same as CSCS card. Yeah. I suppose there's a lad come in and does all training with us. All right. So. Yeah, do you necessarily need it just as a, as a fitter? I think so. I mean, I know on you're site, probably moving on site, on sites, I think they're like, I don't think it'd matter in here. In, yeah, but, but on, on site on you site, certainly I would, yeah. Like, preferred it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you generally get left left to your own devices, don't you, to yeah. sort yeah, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, but you, that don't bother you, you don't go on site? I do want, I do help lads out when the, when it's the a tool job and that, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'd fit, I'd want brand new machines and that. All right. You'll get them all ready for going yeah, out to customers. Yeah, PDI, whatever, beacons, vandal guards, boxing yeah. rings, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Are you a local lad? I'm from Upton. Upton? Yeah. Right. I only travelled up from workshop. What have, you, what have you come for? You just I, just, I just take photos and stuff of this kind of equipment and, you know, put them on Tinterweb. All right. You'd be amazed how many people are interested in them. Yeah. You know, and how many people you love film, all Are you filming in there? Yeah, oh, it's always filming. I, I go on some places and they get really stroppy to attack me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I shall, uh, I shall go and see if I can see Pete. All right, mate, thanks for yeah, your time you anyway. Just over, I think you're just over there in that digger. All right. Um, all right. There's a nice fella. I normally fly a drone over, but it's much too windy today. Yeah. You know, I sent drone up and it'll end up at Cleethorpe somewhere. Right. So it's got to be a calm day for that. Then you can't well, send it into. It, it's, it's up there. It's gusting at about 40, 45 mile an hour, which is faster than my drone will go. Right. So even if I've got my drone flat out forwards, it's still going backwards. If you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, it'll end up at Cleethorpe at the time of right. time. Right. Thanks for your time, anyway, mate. Yeah. Take care. And you. I do like your machinery, though. Oh, sorry. I say I do like your machinery. This is one of your service vehicles, is it? Yeah, that's that tall lads who you've just seen. Alright. Yeah. His name's Spud, I take it. Yeah. Name Edwards? No, he's it, actually called Paul. Alright. It's just a nickname that. Well, usually if somebody's called uh, Spud or Something like that, the second name's Edwards or something like that, you know. Ask him why they call him Spud, I'm not telling you. Oh, right, is it that bad? Is it that bad? <laughs> no, I don't think he's bad, but he's just a name that's stuck, you know, all these years. All right. Yeah, normally if they're called Edwards or something like that. No, he's called Paul Field. All right, okay. Oh, it's a tater field then. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. Well, there you go, you were a nice bloke, weren't he? Right, let's have a look, see if we can see anything here. I'll give him a shout in a minute, shall we? I've got a couple of beaver tails there, look. Your name Pete? Am I right, Dirt? You what, mate? What are you doing here? Oh, I've just come to have a look at your equipment, that's all. Yeah, right. Ah, I you used remember to... me? I were at Walton's when you were at Denneby. And you said you knew Melvin. Oh, right, 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 right. 
driving instructor, Mel. Yeah, yeah. And you were walking up past our yard. I was in one at Waggins there. You were, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I work here now. You work here now. Have you seen anybody over there, like? He just said, come up and have a look at you. There you go. Have one of my uh, key rings, mate. Who did you see over there, like? Uh, big chunky lad fitter in office. Oh, right. I don't know if I can let you in that, so you might actually just see them over there. Yeah. You know, in office. Yeah. Nah, not to worry. Because there's cameras uh, all over, like. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, small world, isn't it? It is, pal, yeah. But I keep watching it like now and again. Yeah? And I've got time. Yeah. So yeah. what do you do here then? I go out at bodies when it drive us off. Alright. And then... So you drive these beaver tails then, do you? Uh, either of them, when he's not the here, like. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just washing that machine now, like. Yeah. yeah. Steady job? Easy, isn't it? I hope it's easy if you make it, isn't it? Well, I don't know. I've had some jobs I thought were going to be easy. You get a bar to be done, yeah? What made you come up here? Um, I come to have a look at Bourbon Place down there. All right. But I couldn't go anywhere. Security just, he were wandering around with a truck driver, so I, oh, yeah. I couldn't get any info out. Oh, yeah. And then I got talking to one at Posties. Yeah. And he said, you've got all this plant around here. So I thought yeah, I'd come yeah. and have a look. I can't say to let you in, like. No, no, I... Go over to the office, they might, they might, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, well, I mean, you've got no talent already seen, 360s. Yeah, well, you used to train all these. I did, you? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can remember that. Irish sports car, with JCB GT. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to wash them all now, like. Yeah. So how many wagons do you run? Just the two? Probably them two, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then he just delivers all new stuff and that. Yeah. All old stuff and that. Yeah, buys old stuff in. Well, we're we'll taking part text and everything. Yeah, 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 and sells them new stuff. Yeah. And then what's he do? Sort out old stuff out and resell it. Yeah, just wash it off. Some of this is higher stuff than that, you know what I mean? All right, okay. I'm gonna forget crap tongs. It's nearly dinner time, so I'm just gonna wash a few diggers. Hey. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm done anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're going home now. Oh no, I'm gonna go and have a look where else I can. Well, if you go over there, they'll sort your out like. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, no, I've, I've, very good to work for them now. Oh, I can imagine they are, mate. Yeah, you know. No, I've, I've. There's, there's nothing that I can't see from here. They're all, all right. they're all 360s, and you got any loading buckets? A couple of yeah, loading buckets and stuff. There, there, there. Yeah, I've been and had a look at them new ones over there. Yeah. So there's no tell. Do you remember this yard though, weren't you? That Walker Trowbridge. Do you remember with brown lorries? They used to have ARFs and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was this yard. I all right. Going back some years, isn't it? Uh, You'll be having a ride up to Epworth and all up there, won't you? Up to where? Up to Hazelhead, that Ep old Epworth yard. Uh, the pipe factory and that. Oh, I've been up there. You've been up there? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to I'd, get I, I went up to Premdor the other day and all oh, down there. Yeah, that was all right. You've come over at Border from Wixop, have you? I've come over at Border, yeah. <laughs> They keep telling me it's God's country, Yorkshire. It is, isn't it? Well, I don't know. Are you into Maltby? Well, well, land of a thousand gyros, isn't it? <laughs> in uh, biggest mountain in Maltby. I don't know, Still is it? Still for his gyro. <laughs> is that, eh? Yeah, it's not what you'd call <laughs> God's country. We were when we were kids, us. Uh, it's not what you'd call God's country, is it, Maltby? I was talking to a kid today. He moved up from, where was it now? North Devon to live in Maltby. Yeah? All right, don't you crack on. Ta see you later. Ta-da. If you want the thing, just go and see him at the office over there. Yeah, yeah. See if you can have a look round. Yeah, all right, don't. Right, Catch you later. What well, a small world, isn't it? We used to work at the same place. Oh, yeah? Yeah, years ago, like. Oh, yeah. Me and Is Pete. Pete. Yeah. Tens of penny with Pete. Uh, bad penny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so there you go. Right, so it's time to hide a key ring. And I'm hiding it outside filter mech. And I'm just gonna put it down here against this gate post. So we'll just dig it out a little bit. <clears throat> and there it is, look. Put a few bricks on it so it don't blow away. And that's where it is, key ring. Now, if you come along and find this key ring, remember, there's a photograph of you either like that, 
you know, showing the key ring. Or uh, give us a smiley face showing us the key ring. And we'll put you on the uh, we'll put you on the next video. Email address is below the video, so that's where you need to send the photo to. So find the key ring, send us a photo and we'll get you on. We've had a good look round. Uh, Filter Tech seems a very nice company. Nice people. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you there in the next one. Bye everybody. <laughs>